A WCCO investigation has a top state Republican leader calling for hearings into the actions of the state auditor. Some county auditors feel Rebecca Otto is pressuring them into long-term contracts with her office, even though a new law takes away many of the state auditor's duties. Our Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is in the newsroom this morning with both sides of this story. Yeah, Jason, you know, basically, it's a letter, and the letter directs 59 Minnesota counties to sign a three-year contract with the state auditor, even though a new state law allows them to hire private audit firms starting next year. Chisago County officials say they were surprised by the state auditor's demand. The letter comes out of the blue. We don't get a phone call. We don't have a, an engagement. So it, it's weird. We don't feel quite that the state auditor is being a partner that you sit down and you negotiate with. We kind of feel like it's maybe negotiation by shotgun. I mean, they're our regulator, they're the boss, and here they are saying, here, do this and sign it. And nobody feels comfortable when you're put in that position. Chisago County Administrator Bruce Messel says they've been happy with the work of the state auditor, but they would like the option to consider a less expensive private audit firm. State Auditor Rebecca Otto says that her only goal in this is consistency and efficiency. She says it's not a political strategy, even though the legislature stripped her of many of her audit duties. The legal staff reviewed this and it's consistent with Minnesota law. Um, we can't force anybody to do anything. Um, I'm anticipating that the counties will sign a letter. The chair of the House State Government Finance Committee has notified auditors that they are not required to sign any contract here. Representative Sarah Anderson says she hopes to convene legislative hearings into the auditor's actions. Auditor Otto was reelected last year to a three-year term. She tells us she is answering to voters. All right, it'll continue to play out. Thanks, Susan Elizabeth.